Hariyo. Emotion. Yes. Yes. I feel like there is some uh, unclarity inside of me yeah. um, from different approaches. Yeah. Whether um, some approaches say to express it and let it move through the energy. Yeah. Some will say just observe and be an equanimity. Yeah. Some will say that it's all objects, positive or negative, the way we define them. Some would say that. Uh, things like anger will be negative and we shouldn't let it. So I feel like there is some, like I would love to hear your take on the subject. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with emotions. <laughs> it's part of the human experience. Makes the, makes the human experience more juicy. <laughs> <laughs> but they should not take over that they become destructive. Nothing wrong with expressing emotions if they don't become destructive if they don't hurt you and the people around. Otherwise, it's better that for a moment you put the brakes. <laughs> and then don't try to suppress the emotion. It will be there, nagging. <clears throat> Let it come, experience it. Instead of dwelling on what brought the emotions about, Simply watch the emotion. Bring the attention back to your experience right now. See what it is doing to you. Just, and even if you are angry, don't think, oh, it's a bad emotion, should go away. Then you just sit there, angry. <laughs> and watch what it is doing to your experience. Can be quite interesting. <laughs> See what it is doing to you physically, energetically. And then relax. <coughs> Don't fight with it. Just relax. And if you are not feeding the emotion, if you are not going round and round and round about the subject, then they just come, they are there for a moment, they go, they are in no way harmful. It's when we are holding on to and think about it and make them bigger and bigger and bigger, without being quite aware that we are doing that, eventually they explode and become destructive. But if you can recognize the emotion when they come, then you don't fight with them, you accept, okay, it's coming. You watch what it's doing and you relax and it stays for some time and then it goes and there, there's no harm in it. It's just when we got, get into a war with them, or when we try to come, uh, suppress them. If you suppress emotion, then it takes, then it's always there, nagging, 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 and it wants to come out. So let it come. <coughs> if we learn to deal with emotions like this, they stop to be a problem. As long as you are appearing in a human form, that whole range of emotions will be there. It's not that when you purify yourself, then the so-called negative emotions are not more common. 
as long as you are appearing in a human form, the whole range of emotions is there. It will come up any moment. If you have learned to accept them, to see them, and they come, and then they go. If it's appropriate, you can express it. If it's getting destructive, you can also control that, but still let the emotion be there. And experience the emotion. You can just sit or, or walk, <laughs> whatever, and withdraw the attention from what it brought the emotion about. Just be with the emotion. Be with the experience. See what it is doing. Then they stop to be a problem. <laughs> The two are not so much opposites. That uh, going into emotion or just observing it. The two come together. And the more and more you have the freedom, then that you, uh, if you feel it's appropriate, you express it. If you feel not, then you just watch it and let it pass like a puff of air. Without leaving a trace. All that emotional stuff that we are carrying in the subconscious is because we have been suppressing them. We wanted to express them, but we didn't express them. Then there it goes in the subconscious and keeps on nagging. <laughs> and we can accumulate and accumulate and accumulate, and it can be like a heavy burden that we are carrying along. If we learn to let them come, then maybe an, a lot of old emotions may also come that we didn't know that we are carrying along, then let them come. If you can drop them, drop them. If they come insisting, let them come. But be here now. Don't get caught up in the past, in the stories that brought them about. Let the story bring the emotions up. But be here now. And see what it is doing now to you. Watch it, be with it, experience it, and relax. <laughs> Not fighting them. If you learn to relax when the emotions are there, they stop to be a problem. They come, they are there a moment, they go. <coughs> of course, then in the moment we may completely forget. There is a situation, brings up a strong emotion, then we completely forget. <laughs> React, puff. <laughs> But then, usually, when such a situation comes, it's not simply the situation itself, but after that we stick to it, and we turn it around and around and think about it, and... <laughs> and then sooner or later you become aware, ah, uh -uh, there I'm doing it again. And then you deal with it in that way, that you accept, okay, it's still there, but I need not hold on to the situation, it's past, it doesn't exist, it's just a memory, and let the emotion be there, and deal with it as I have said before, and if you do that consequently, then you catch yourself earlier and earlier, and eventually, even in the moment, you are capable of deciding, am I just letting the emotion pass, or am I picking it up and experience it for some time? Am I going to just experience it internally, or am I going to express it? Then that freedom comes. That you don't feel a victim of emotion, but you can play with it.
There's always that aspect of you that is prior to that, that is unaffected. Make that your home. And then the emotions come and go and don't leave traces. But it's not that you should try to become like some amorphous blob, <laughs> neutral, <laughs> emotionless. You don't have to become stones. <laughs> it's part of the human experience. Nothing wrong with emotions. You just don't have to learn not to be victims. Then they are part of the experience that changes all the time. And you are aware there is something in you that is not affected by it. Did he nothing to say? <laughs> <laughs> Identification with the emotions, same as with the, with the thoughts, they come and go. Mm. You don't identify yourself with the clouds, don't do you? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Simple, huh? <laughs> <laughs> The habit of identification may be there and catch us again and again, but when we are aware of it, even if we decide, I don't want to react, <laughs> and then the situation comes and we still react, then no point in punishing oneself and being in judgment and think, oh my God, in spite of all my years of spirituality. <laughs> but okay, it's still there. Just watch it. Be aware of it. And then the old habit is not getting stronger. The habit that we are being driven, that it's always overtaking us, is because we unconsciously have been repeating the same patterns over and over and over, and then it has its own momentum. But once we become aware, then even if we are not so happy that it's still coming, <laughs> that very awareness is weakening that power of the pattern. And it becomes easily to deal with eventually. But it's also no wonder that if we have been functioning in a certain way for a long time, and even if we decide not to function like that, that after that it's not simply going away from one day to another. Can I add something? Yeah, sure. Um, I think the main reason I asked you because I just came out from Vipassana. Yeah. And he was talking a lot about purification of the mind, what you just said. Yeah. And that there's a clear distinction between, let's say, positive, wholesome, um, emotions or things that we do want to uh, sort of identify with. And I, I don't know if identify with, but um, nurture mm -hmm. within ourselves compared to the more impure, impure, negative things. Um, so okay. then there is this distinct distinction. Yeah. Between, uh, I would say you don't need to nurture any emotion. <coughs> Even the so-called wholesome ones, let them come when they come, and let them go as they go. Just be. Be yourself. At ease, at peace, here, now and relax. And there is a joyousness in that that is not an emotion. That's not something that we have to somehow, somewhere uh, catch and learn to grab and then hold on to it. <laughs> if we stop disturbing it, it's always there. It's never absent, really. That joyousness is not an emotion. So we don't have to learn to somehow develop 
a joyous emotion and hold on to it and try to uh, kindle it and make it bigger and bigger. <laughs> Just be at ease, at peace. And the more you are relaxed in that, the more you become aware that joyousness is never absent. Whereas there is the ecstatic emotion, the, the ecstatic joyousness, and we don't have to try to hold on to that. It's not that eventually we are in a perpetual jumping ecstasy. <laughs> people, sometimes, people sometimes think, think like this when they hear from the tradition that you are in perpetual bliss, that eventually you are just in a perpetual ecstasy. Ecstasy is also an emotion. It's an experience, it comes, it has a peak, it goes. Nothing wrong with that. But we don't have to try to hold on to and somehow uh, make it bigger, just experience it. But there's something else which is not an emotion, which I would call a peaceful joyousness, which is simply an aspect of existence, which is never absent. But we create so much tensions in our mind and uh, have so many things to think about and to worry about that we are not aware that it's there. If you learn to stop, let go, relax, and more and more it's simply bubbling up. It's there. So even the positive emotions, I wouldn't necessarily say you have to nurture them. You let them come like the negative one. Watch them, enjoy them, let them go. Don't try to hold on to. <laughs> because if you hold on to the positive emotions, the ones that you like, invariably you hold on also to the negative emotions that you don't like. <laughs> and then they are torturing you. <laughs> if you learn to let emotions, positive or negative, pleasant or unpleasant, come, experience them and let them go, then they are just what they are, waves in consciousness. They come, they go, they somehow make the human experience a little juicier. <laughs> it's not that you somehow have to try to become holier and holier and holier that eventually you fit the picture <laughs> of, of the holy person. <laughs> Just learn to be natural. In your natural state you are at ease, at peace, in harmony. 